I found this man who had started a movement called Radical Honesty, which uh, he has thousands of followers, and he, he lives in Virginia. He's a psychologist. He believes that we should never lie, but more than that, whatever's on our brain should come out of our mouth, no filter. So uh, you know, Kanye West is an example of what, uh, yeah. what uh, he's a radically honest person. So he's a poster child for the perils of radical honesty. Uh, so, but, but there are also advantages to it. There are also parts of it that are really interesting and do enhance your life. There are parts that really make your life a disaster. And, you know, there were quite a few Category 5 storms in my uh, social life when I uh, engaged in this. Well, you point out that, um, I don't know where you got this information, but every three minutes or something, men think about sex. That so when you're doing true. an unfiltered, um, you know, I mean, well, that, were you yeah. talking about uh, sex yeah. every three minutes? Unfortunately, there is a fine line between radical honesty and creepiness. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I do believe I crossed that line a couple of times. You know, I, I would say to my friend, oh, I find your wife very attractive. And, but then he would respond and say, well, I think your wife is hot. And then we would have a key party. No, we didn't actually do that. But it was, it was very interesting in, just in terms of human, human dynamics. When you were radically honest with other people, they would become radically honest with you. So if you want someone to tell the truth, you, should, you, know, you can open yourself up and become incredibly vulnerable. And, that, and that's actually, uh, I, I think it's an old journalist trick, is that yeah. you, know, you, you tell an embarrassing story about yourself, and then the subject tells an embarrassing story about himself or herself. Unfortunately for the subject, your story is never printed in the magazine, but his is. So. <laughs>